All right, everybody. Like I said, it's your boy, Dax. Trash talk. And we continue with more of these coordinators. All right. So we did Dean Pease. Dean Pease gave us a lot of information. So I was going to have to break that up into multiple videos. So this is just a continuation of that. All right. So then we have Dave Ragone. And we have Marquise Williams, all right? So I'm going to be able to fit both of those into this one, all right? So all of these coaches, as I told you in the last video, all of these coaches in their press conferences said that they believe in Arthur Smith. That was the number one thing. They believe in Arthur Smith. They believe in whatever he has to say. And they believe in his philosophy. They believe in his playbook. They believe in, they believe in him. And they trust him. So that was one of the main things that I'm thinking like, okay, this is special because that is a formula for, excuse me, success. Okay. So let's dive into um, Arthur Smith. That was the first thing that he said is that he believed in, I mean, Arthur Smith, diving into Arthur Smith, diving into Dave Ragone. That was the first thing that he said is he believes in Arthur Smith. Um, the second thing that he said is um, he believes in the explosion on his offense. He he faced Arthur Smith this year, and he said it was an explosion on offense, okay? And the tremendous amount of explosion that the Falcons have and the ability that they have, he loves the fact that we have Matt Ryan and Julio Jones. He loves Calvin Ridley. He loves Russell Gage. He loves the offensive talent and the offensive weapons that we have. They actually believe in this team, and they feel like if we can just mold this team and get this get this offense to doing what we want it to do, it can be successful. And that's one of the things that they truly, truly believe, and they believe together. Um, so Matt has the complete respect of Dave Ragone. I don't expect Matt Ryan to go anywhere. Okay, a lot of people are saying, you know, oh, Matt could be traded, Matt could be let go, Matt could be whatever. I don't expect Matt to go anywhere. I really don't. I really don't. You know, so um, that's just that. Because all of these coaches love Matt. They can't wait to work with Matt. And Dave Ragone was on his way out of the NFL when Matt Ryan was on his way in the NFL. And uh, he was really good friends with Matt Redman, who used to be the backup quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons. And he played behind Matt Ryan. Matt Redman had nothing but great things to say about Matt Ryan at a very young age. So it was one of those things that, you know, he was just really able to kind of come in and um, just kind of feel like he kind of knows Matt Ryan and he kind of has an idea as to, you know, what he's getting, a pro's pro. Um, um, so he's very familiar with head coach calling plays. Uh, Matt Nagy called the plays in Chicago, and he feels like it's better for him to be able to come up with a better plan, a better um, organization like of the offense, a better uh, mindset. Uh, you know, so if he was able to do that in Chicago, which we all know that Chicago wasn't the best of teams, but you know, the thing is, is he's used to that. So him not calling plays or him not having full control of the offense, that's not something that he worries about. And I feel like it's a good thing. All right. So um, I like that. Um, his philosophy is uh, what's that? his philosophy. He said his philosophy is I'm sorry. He said his philosophy is whatever is on your roster. OK, so your film needs to match whatever you want those players to do. And if it's not. That needs to be addressed in practice, and you need to continue to emphasize that to your players. Now, what that means is that he is more of a perfectionist than Dirk Cutter was, okay? Uh, when we had Kyle Shanahan, these players would run these plays until they could no longer run these plays, and then after that, they would run it one more time. And then that causes you to be able to have a full motion of being able to run a play. And you don't even have to think about it. Matt Ryan in 2016 wasn't even thinking about who he was throwing the ball to. He knew who was supposed to be there at what time they were supposed to be there. And the ball was there on time. That's the type of offense. That's the type of, of play calling that 
Arthur Smith is going to bring and the type of game planning that Doug Ragone is going to bring. And I think their minds together will be will be amazing. Uh, right now, uh, Matt Ryan and the rest of the talent is pretty special on the offense. The most exciting thing is taking this offense and adding to it. Okay, that's what that's Doug Ragone in his words and what he thinks. All right, now we jump over to Marquise Williams. Marquise Williams is a special teams coordinator, and after I didn't know anything about him, but after listening to him and being able to write a few things down that he was saying, um, I think that he's a really good um, candidate for the uh, special teams coordinator position. And he used to be a defensive coordinator. I mean, a defensive, yeah, a defense coordinator. So, I mean, a defensive line coach. Apologies. Defensive line coach. So, he knows tackling, tackling circular, tackling drill, open field tackling. He knows this stuff, all right? Some of the guys that he's coached under, Mel Tucker, uh, Joe Tecamlis, uh, uh, Jim Caldwell. Jim Caldwell is one of the greatest coaches, you know, in NFL history. Um, so the fact that he was able to, you know, be under Jim Caldwell and learn and under Mel Tucker and all these guys, that was amazing to him and to kind of, you know, transform him into an NFL coach to get his NFL jobs, right? So he said three things that he wants his special teams to be about and that he expects from his players. Number one, it's about players having high effort. And that is really impressive and really, really, really important because if you don't have people playing at high effort and you have that mentality because I've played the game, I know how it is, everybody thinks special teams is one of those things where it's like, i got to run down on kickoff. But if you have guys that say, I don't, I don't have to, I get to, which is his number two attitude and mindset. We don't have to, we get to play special teams. That is the most important thing because when you have guys that want to be out there on the field, no matter if it's offense, defense, or special teams, that's when you can bring all three phases together and create a monster. All right? Look at the Kansas City Chiefs. Number three. The fundamental mean and clean football that he preaches. Mean and clean. There has been a long time since the Falcons have had two coaches mention mean, clean football. Mean and clean. All right. Mean meaning we are going to knock your head off, but we're going to do it legally so we don't get no 15 yard penalty. And I like that. Um, so he started off um, on the defensive side of the ball, then moved to special teams. Like I said, he was a defensive line coach for three years. Um, another exactly what all the other two coaches said, well, all, both of the other coaches said, is he believes in Arthur Smith. And um, the difference to uh, now, to OTAs, OTAs, to training camp, training camp to the season, that is – what is the, the, the changes that's going to happen in this team? And he was like, you know, situational football and pulling everything together with having those changes is what makes an amazing football team and what makes the team work, what makes everything come together. When you have the defensive side of the ball that says, look, we're going to hit you in the mouth. We're going to come from everywhere. We're going to change up our defense so you don't know what we're coming with. And then we're going to successfully guess what you're trying to do and stop you. And then you have an offense that says we're going to score and we're going to score until we can't score anymore. And that's when the game is over. And then we have an offensive explosion of players like Matt, Julio, Calvin, Russell, and I mean, all of the players that you have on your roster with uh, Hayden Hurst. And then you move over to the special team side. And not only are you going to have your offense and your defense working together as a cohesive unit, you have your special teams coordinator that jumps right on in with those guys and creates something beautiful. So um, to be honest, I like all of them. Um, I don't really know much about Dave Ragone. Dave Ragone is going to be somebody that we're just going to have to watch. I really like Dean, Dean Pease, and I really like Marquise Williams. So um, we're just going to have to see what happens. Stay tuned. I got more. I'm not going nowhere. Like, follow, subscribe. Twitter, Instagram, below the video. Holla at your boy. Peace.